Hey guys, just wanted to hop on here quickly and talk to you a little bit about mewing and how to know if you're mewing correctly. So first, let's talk about tongue position. So when we're mewing, ideally, the front, middle, and the back of the tongue are all up on the upper palate. And like the part of the tongue that's in your throat, that's not meant to be pushing, only when you're swallowing. But when you're in your resting posture, the back, middle, and front of the tongue are all up. So let me just show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to show you when my tongue is on the bottom of my mouth. So right now it's on the bottom. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the back. So if you do a swallow with your tongue, the back will lift. It's kind of like a little meerkat's hands or something, or like a cobra snake, kind of up and alert. So the back is up. Hopefully you see that. In my mouth, you can see it. Back is up and then it, it curves or it sort of like hits every part of the upper palate afterwards. So back is up. So you see how it kind of like unrolled, unraveled itself. So again, back is up. So when you're pushing up with your tongue, it shouldn't cause pain. It shouldn't cause too much discomfort. If you're new to mewing, if you don't really know how to, if it's new putting your tongue up at the upper palate, yeah, it, it could hurt. It could cause discomfort. The first day that I tried mewing, the next day I felt soreness, like in my cheeks, in like my cheekbone, and kind of like my whole face like here felt like kind of achy. So that's a clue that you're doing it correctly if you're new to it. If you're feeling achy in this area, that's probably a signal that you're doing it properly. But you know, even if you're new to it, just do a few minutes per day and you don't have to become sore. You know, um, you can do it very gradually. It's more like what's what works better for you? You know, is it better for you to just really learn it and d d dive right in? Or is it better to just try it for a few minutes a day? So pick one. But yeah, you, all you really need to do is just start with just a few minutes a day. And the more your tongue is up there and the more you're breathing through your nose, the more like your mouth and the whole oral cavity will become better suited for mewing. So the more you do it, the easier it becomes. But the beginning is probably the hardest if you're not used to it. So yeah, so showing you where the tongue is. So the whole tongue is up, kind of like the back of a cat, like the like the front half of a cat. You know when you're doing cat-cow in yoga, just imagining like the cat's back rounded. That's your tongue, like rounded up. And to have like the full posture, yes, the tongue is up. The root of the tongue is is relaxed, but the back of the tongue is up. And I like to do two little swallows just to kind of get rid of all the air in the mouth. So tongue up, two little tiny swallows. And it kind of seals in your oral posture. So after the swallows, making sure that the top and the bottom teeth are very lightly touching. So they're not clenching but they're just lightly, gently touching or just even barely touching. And so a lot of us have different bites. Some people have overbites, some people have underbites, some people have open bites. I mean, there's a lot of different bite patterns. And the more you mew, the more that your bite pattern will become healthy. So it might be difficult to put your tongue up there with your current bite pattern. So, you know, if that's the case, definitely take it slower when you're mewing 
because it might not be comfortable to Mew. Um, so, you know, in the beginning, it's going to be more difficult in those cases. But the tongue should basically not be touching the teeth. Another really important point. So when the tongue is up, it should not be touching the top, the, the top row of teeth. Now, my, narrow, my palette is a little bit narrow, like a couple millimeters narrow, and I'm trying to widen it using mewing. So I still, like my um, teeth, my back teeth mostly, like back middle teeth, kind of touch my tongue a little bit when I'm mewing. So I'm working on expanding my upper palate to accommodate my tongue. So some of you guys, like me, might not have enough tongue space for your tongue up there. So using the tongue to kind of open the upper palate and widen it, imagining the tongue kind of opening it, widening it, even like pressing with your tongue against the upper palate, side to side, like the tip, massaging it more wide. Mm. So the gum is really helpful for that, the tongue chewing. Uh, using your tongue to, to move the gum up and around and side to side on the upper palate. Um, so definitely keep in mind that if you're having difficulties mewing, it's not like, it's not like you are, you know, you don't know what you're doing. It's, it could be like your, your oral space just makes, it is more difficult to mew in. So it might just take more time. It could take years even. It could take years, you guys. This is a long haul process. So, you know, it's definitely, it takes a commitment, but it is so worth it. It's so, so worth it. Like, honestly, it's like life-changing. It's so worth it. So definitely don't give up. If you have any questions, always like ask me. Do not hesitate to ask me. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to include about mewing. Okay, yes, the pressure of pushing. So when you're pushing your tongue up there, imagine like you're pushing with all the force that you can. Like really, really pushing. So now that is not what we want at all. We want it to be like a very light push, almost like right after you do a swallow with the tongue. Like kind of like it's suctioned onto the roof of the mouth, lightly pushing up. So the hardest amount of pushing, call that hard mewing, and then if you make that 50% effort, so call that like medium mewing. And then 50% of that effort, call that soft mewing. So you want a round soft mewing. Even a little bit less is okay if that's better for you. But this most important thing is to try to get this part up. So if you can look in the mirror and watch yourself mew, so look in the mirror and have your tongue at the bottom of your mouth and look at your under chin. Like completely let the tongue just like relax. And then try to lift up this area. That's the, that's the back of the tongue. Okay, so that's what we want to engage. That's what we want to activate. That's what we want up there, you know, five to 10% effort all the time in your resting mouth posture. So tongue up, teeth touching, not clenched, and now lips sealed together. And so not using your chin muscles to keep your lip up, but trying to use the jaw the strength of the jaw and the strength of the tongue to keep the mandible up. This is the mandible. And the lips just very lightly, gently sealed, no tension between the lips. And so this is this mewing posture, breathing through the nose, really opening the nostrils, letting air in, keeping the neck upright, not forward ahead of the shoulders, but above the shoulders. And there you go. So if this is all really new for you, just practice three minutes a day, one minute in the morning, midday, minute in the evening, you know, or even 10 seconds. Just practice what is good for your level and gradually increase 
more and more until it just becomes easier. And if you have any hurdles in the way, you might want to talk to a myofunctional therapist. You might want to talk to me. Um, you know, look for answers because if you're having any issues, listen to that. That's your body telling you something important. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions and good luck with your viewing, everybody. You've got this. I believe in you. Have a great one. Bye.